नमस्कार एंड नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट शो स्टार दरबार वी आर रियली एक्साइटेड टुनाइट टू मेक सच अ परफेक्ट इंडिविजुअल फ्रॉम द थिएटर इंडस्ट्री एंड नॉट ओनली दैट फ्रॉम द एक्टिंग फ्रेड एंड रेडिया आई कैन से दर्शन जरीवाला जी इज हियर हु इज द नेशनल अवार्ड विनर एक्टर we are so proud of you darshan ji and welcome to star darbar namaskar one more time namaskar namaskar ragini ji i am very happy to be here absolutely we are excited because you know because you are a real actor because why i'm saying this is um whoever is coming from the theater fraternity or stage you know so they understand acting or uh, i can say that that genre more uh, please pardon me if someone is not agreeing with me because everybody's thinking or thought process is different and of course individual we would love to know that how are you what you are doing i know that you are having a fantastic time in india right now but what what are the things that you are doing right now well uh, right now i am uh, doing a uh... A, a hindi film and a couple of uh, web series is in hindi uh, as you know uh, web space is the most exciting place right now where a lot of things are happening a lot of new content is emerging not lot of new stories and lot of young people wanting to tell their stories in their own way so i am very happy to be uh, at that place where uh, uh, you know the best of the stories are being told to the largest audience and uh, i i just uh, am doing one i think this uh, film also will definitely have a theatrical release but also it will have an its own ott presence and uh, apart from that uh, there are these two uh, you know uh, web series that i am looking forward to very different subjects and uh, then i have uh, a plan to direct a gujarati play a play in my own uh, matribhasha my my own mother tongue uh, i am I'm, i'm going to be directing a play after a very very long time i mean i i have always been an actor and i i i do believe that that core competence of an actor i have not yet fully exploited fully realized so i am more uh, you know i would i would i would take an acting assignment with a lot of more alacrity than uh, direction but i am also very deeply interested in directing uh, plays so maybe uh, within next couple of months i will be getting into the directing of a gujarati play in india that is so fabulous but uh, since you just mentioned that you were an actor and started your career mm-hmm. from stage if you can tell us a little bit more about uh, the days that you have started well i started uh, quite early you see my mother was a very renowned uh, gujarati stage actor uh, her name was leela jariwala and uh, uh, both my parents were actually quite involved with theater and uh, theater that way has been in my blood uh, and i started doing uh, children's plays uh, while i was in school uh and then uh, of course when i graduated uh, uh, from my school and i went to the college at that time i did my first uh, gujarati professional theater outing so theater has been with me a part of my life ever since i was about 16 or 17 years old uh though i must say that uh, with theater as the new media started getting introduced in india you know uh i mean uh, when satellite tv what is right now called as a satellite based television when it was merely an experiment of the space research uh, organization indian space research organization and space application center it was a, it was a part of the space exploration uh, you know when they wanted to send one indian satellite i think it was not an indian satellite at that time but they they wanted to send the signal up and receive it in a small village outside ahmedabad called peach and uh, what they started doing is uh, they started relaying educational program for children and entertainment program for children and those programs were also those you know before all these 
टू थाउजेंड चैनल्स केम इन विच आर सेटेलाइट बेस्ड सिंस सो मेनी इयर्स नाउ बिफोर दैट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स uh i was a part of uh, that band of actors that band of performers who used to do small skits uh, for 20 minutes or 30 minutes for children in gujarati and we started uh, doing developing that uh, we didn't know it is called software so we started developing that software in mumbai and then it was beamed up from uh, mumbai to a satellite and then the signal was received by the school uh, children you know school going children of that village of peach uh, right now amdabad has expanded exponentially and there is one road which is called satellite road or there is one area which is called satellite area that is because of that satellite tv center there which was the first in india so what happened is i started theater i started television i started doing gujarati uh, television when it appeared on my horizon then when hindi that television happened i was a part of that too so it was like you know uh, a booster rocket at every time uh, i am i am going up my trajectory in the space on one rocket of uh, gujarati theater then i uh, get the second booster of gujarati television then i get the third booster of hindi television and then i do english theater and then i do hindi films and then i do web series which right now i am doing so uh, what i find is that i am like that cat having nine lives you know i am also having different lives at the different stages of my life uh, as a professional actor but uh, i must say that uh, you know i'm 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 from uh, Uh, obviously a middle class gujarati background now how do you define middle class gujarati those gujaratis they, those who do not have a business of their own they are, they are the middle class gujaratis and uh, my parents had nothing else to give me except the riches except the treasure of education so and i was academically brilliant so i became a chartered accountant as uh, you know which is the equivalent of being a certified public accountant in us uh, i became a chartered accountant i also attempted uh, two years of law i studied law i studied company law uh, and then i went into a direction where my heart probably was not set i went into business but i didn't like that so much i burnt my fingers actually and then at a ripe age of 40 i decided to become a full time professional actor but before i did that already gujarati and hindi television had happened to me uh it was merely hindi films and uh, the web space that happened to me later and of course english theater too uh that so that's like you know before 40 and after 40 my 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 career has started but the original uh original passion uh, which i still have is for gujarati theater the theater in your own mother tongue Uh, as a, as a, as a bengali probably uh, you must you must know how rich uh, the bengali theater tradition has been and how despite doing everything else bengalis still love their own language and you know their own theater uh, similarly gujaratis also have that passion so that's where i started from oh my god oh my god from the chartered accountant to um to the actor i mean well the journey is quite a long 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 that is what i told you my friends that uh that this episode you are going to know more about darshan ji and of course those words if you really listen to it very carefully you will find um i can say that self motivation you know that how you can change yourself towards the path that you love and since you were talking about changes my next question comes here that from when you started and now like lots of changes happened in the acting fraternity or uh, the the film fraternity so uh, what are the differences now and back then in your aspect well back then back then if we talk about uh, even uh, you know theater or films or not television you know television was always uh television when it arrived in india 
it also began as a very serious alternative to the tinsel town uh you know typical uh indian uh, hindi movie scene that we had at that time uh if you if you recall the initial offerings on indian television were also towards serious uh storytelling it was hum log and it was buniyad and it was jaane uh, bido uh, i mean uh, i think ye jo hai zindagi it was it was also a very famous uh, uh, you know uh, comedy uh, then uh, you had dekh bhai dekh you had you had uh, you had you had very good uh, content on television but somewhere we started losing uh, the race in the in the in the race to earn money the producers went towards very regressive kind of television which involved you know only saas bahus and uh, that uh, you know uh, and then uh, uh, talking a lot about the uh, the very hoary uh, backward tra- tra- traditional kind of the india uh, hinterland that we have you know stories about serpents and stories about snakes and flies <laughs> the human flies but uh, but uh, uh theater and films both have evolved quite quite much you know i mean especially films uh, films now are being done by people who have a, a certain sensibility a certain grounding uh they are educated they don't they are just not driven by passion of course there's a bit of a thinking involved a bit of a you know balance between sensitivity and sensibility but still the stories that are now being told are much different than what they were let's say 15 years ago or even 20 years ago uh, and uh, there are certain actors like me who have adapted themselves from one kind of you know one nature one one kind of media to another but i mean uh, things are very diff- different nowadays you know much more organized uh, film industry is now a bankable industry it's an insurable industry uh, all the uh, Uh, all the all the facets of the commerce of art you know which have which have existed a, 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 since a very long time in hollywood like you know a picture completion guarantee uh, uh, uh serious investments by corporates all these things are happening in india since a, well, a long time now and uh, we are but uh, having said that in the web space we are once again in a pioneering zone we are once again in a you know you know that wild west a uh, kind of a mentality where everything is being tried out everything is being thrown to audiences and we are very carefully watching what sticks to the audience and what slides off you know <laughs> and uh, pick and choose i think i think uh, the time for uh, really lovely content in indian languages and you know indian ethos even a- english is now an indian language as much as it is of britishers or of of americans so the indian web experience is still there is some time for it to mature still some time for it to uh, you know cut out the uh, the riff raff and to really really have a very nice concentrated way of telling great stories so i think uh, we are in that zone right now but uh, when i started and where i am right now things are absolutely different you have you have so uh, such fresh young talent uh, in all departments not merely acting but uh, storytelling writing direction editing music uh, all these elements of production uh, there are there are people who are making careers of of that now uh, uh, having a career in films is a much a uh, much more solid alternative now than what it used to be before you know you had to run away from your home in order to join the industry in those days <laughs> people your parents wouldn't allow it they would they, they would say it's a cesspool of you know wrong people and bad habits and uh, you know very yeah. uh, uh, different kind of yes 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 one yes yes i agree yeah but now 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 you have now you have people flocking to universities to learn the art of film making and then coming back and making films uh, so I, i guess it's a it's a it's an absolutely a sea change i should say gandhi my father okay and um, 
the nomination for you was the best supporting actor. So when you heard that you were nominated for the national award, and so how many times you were like out of breath situation or when you were sitting in that, like in that evening. So what was your feeling inside your mind? Like, uh, should, like, will, will I be there on stage or what was, what was going on? <laughs> well, it was an absolutely a magical moment. My director, mm -hmm. my very good friend, uh, Feroz Abbas Khan, he called me up and he said, uh, Jariwala, you have won the, uh, the best actor in a supporting role for Gandhi, my father. Congratulations. I was so speechless because on at, at once it was a vindication of the efforts that we all had made together. It was, see, any film is a team, teamwork. So right from the producer, Anil Kapoor, to my director, and also, you know, a large part of uh, screenplay writing he had done, Feroz, uh, my co-actors, uh, my uh, lovely co-actors, you know, uh, I mean, Akshay Khanna is one of the very rare breed of very good actors that I have, I have met. Shefali, of course, is a natural. She's amazing. And uh, so when when I heard this news, I was, I was elated. I was absolutely elated and I was absolutely grateful that in my life I had such a moment where uh, the nation's highest award for, uh, you know, art, uh, for acting is uh, given to me. I also uh, have had heard a lot of stories about how there are other awards, which are basically, you know, a little negotiable. You have to <laughs> negotiate them and you can get them. Uh, uh, there are a couple of very big film stars who do not go to award ceremonies because they don't like the way the awards are handed out. But here was one award which was selected by the jury of my peers and my elders and uh, people who had vast, much, much more experience uh, and, you know, interaction in the world of theatre, world of uh, films, world of uh, acting. And it was they who had chosen me. So I was very humble. I was kind of humbled and I felt very grateful that uh, I won the award. Of course, you see, the the film was shot in 2005 uh, and uh, it was uh, released in 2007. But when the 2007, uh, uh, you know, uh, national awards were considered, we were already to 2009. So it was like, you know, I had... I had a very long association with that film. And uh, in 2007, that film was released to a very great critical acclaim. And everybody uh, kind of, you know, uh, patted my back on a, a, a very good performance. And it was kind of, you know, I was, I was, I was thinking, Chalo, abhi ho gaya. Abhi, now I have to put it back. I am now supposed to move forward. And then in 2009, I got this award, so uh, it was it was a it was it was absolutely you know a surprise in both senses, uh, because uh, just when I thought that uh, it was past me, it was never past me. It was all always around me, and in fact, it has remained around me. Uh, if I can, if I can, uh, you know, point out to you that one little interview that we did for a very latest Gujarati film of mine. Gandhi and company, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm uh, making one 11 year old boy uh, realize what being Gandhi is all about. Uh, so somehow the character of Mahatma Gandhi has never left me. It is, it is being very relevant and meaningful in my life. Uh, ever since I started doing the play, the English play Gandhi, uh, you know, Mahatma versus Gandhi the English version of the play from which the film was made. So since 2002, till now, Mahatma Gandhi has never really left me. <laughs> got you, got you. Uh, Dashanji, um, I know that my viewers, they will also agree to this point, that whenever we saw you, um, either in TV or in the movies, uh, your character, the way you portray it, we never felt that 
uh, you are acting or you are uh, like someone that is like telling a story but rather than that we felt that you are just the person from the next door and uh, so how how you really manage it because um, I know that your theater background that helped you a lot but what what else really uh, play a role in it no you know I I don't have any uh, distillation of any you know uh, pithy words or sentences for what has been my experience as an actor but i must tell you one thing i have been immensely uh, blessed that i have had a great range of characters to portray and my only satisfaction is that when people look at my character when they are with my character they forget the actor behind it they 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 feel that this character is what it is you know mm -hmm. it is it is not darshan jariwala playing the character it is the character playing itself uh that i consider to be my greatest achievement uh you would uh you can understand for a for an actor and all actors have vanity right all actors feel that they are the greatest actors on the earth mm -hmm. and uh all actors like to be recognized uh, when they are walking up on the street or you know at the airport you know but i'll tell you a very nice thing when people come and ask me for a selfie or an autograph they do not remember my name but they refer to some character that i have played and they give the name of that character to me uh, so when they approach me they would say आ प्रिंसिपल सर देसाई आपको तो बहुत टाइम देखा है आपके साथ एक एक फोटो चाहिए सो व्हेन दे से प्रिंसिपल सर देसाई दे मीन अ पर्टिकुलर फिल्म इन व्हिच आई प्लेड प्रिंसिपल सर देसाई और समबडी कम्स एंड सेस शिवशंकर शर्मा बिकॉज़ दैट्स माय नेम इन अजब प्रेम की गजब कहानी सो व्हेन दे व्हेन दे रिमेंबर द कैरेक्टर मोर देन द एक्टर प्लेइंग इट आई फाइंड इट्स अ इट्स अ इट्स अ डीपर triumph you know because you can you can be a you can have your own style playing all characters uh and you can just play the style and not the character after a while there are many film stars which we see why they are film stars because they are remembered by their own styles you know devan had a style dilip kumar had a style uh i mean when you have a style and people recognize you and identify with you that and fall in love with that persona of yours then you definitely achieve starhood stardom but for serious actors like me character actors like me what is more important is to bring the character to you and not really bring what so i am not here as a as as darshan jariwala who is explaining a character to you i am here is as as that character itself if i can make you cross over from you know that threshold of believability that you you forget that i am darshan and you actually are more interested in the character that is playing out in front of you being a part of the story then for me that is the greatest triumph and that's what i try to do i try to uh, erase my own self i try to uh, you know make space make make total space uh, i mean i am a i am a blank canvas i am a white canvas and the director and the writer they pick up their colors and they draw a character on me and it is the character that you see and you don't see the canvas behind it that is how i would like to play all my roles you know and if i am not successful in doing that i failed in my job as an actor wherever i am successful in doing that and you remember only the character and you forget are what is that actor's name yaar he played a very nice character you know principal sir desai ya yeah, shiv shankar sharma you know or uh, there are some people who still remember me from a film uh, you know they they call me gaikwad because i played a bad guy called gaikwad in halla bol or they call me are joint commissioner uh <laughs> that is because that is the only name that they had of that character in a very good film called uh, fada poster nikla hero so uh i think 
one is that i have been blessed that i i got the chance to play very different characters see uh, i'll tell you one 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 very uh, irritating thing that comes up to me as an actor every time you know when you reach a certain age and when you when you are doing character uh, you are either the hero ka father or the heroine ka father in hindi films so that is that is one cross that i have to bear very rarely i get to play characters which are neither the hero's father or the heroine's father but then what i do is i find out what that man is all about he may be a father to a to a protagonist of the story but does he have a life of his own does his life change because of what happens in the story uh, or because of him does the story change and go from point a to point b does he does he help in that so if he contributes to the story or if the story contributes in making that character become a different person from point a to point b when you started watching the film and by the time the film ended the man has changed then those are the characters which i love playing you know i don't like playing devices i like playing human characters who are we are we are all changing every moment we are evolving every moment you know they say that a man doesn't enter the same river twice that is because the river is not the same but also the man is not the same so as an actor i would i i always try and go for such uh, uh, characters you know so maybe that is the reason why uh, you you don't see me you see the character only on screen stage tv or movie in which platform you really love to work shall i tell you honest confession yes stage spoils an actor so much you know uh stage is where an actor is the king he is on stage and he turns behind and shows you one black cyclorama and says it was a beautiful moonlit night and you as an audience would believe that yes it is a moonlit night or he can stand on the stage and say that i am here on the ramparts of my fort waiting for my father's ghost and you will believe that i am standing on rampart so for an actor for an indulgent actor theater is always the most favorite but the discipline and the rigor and the craft that you need to know in order to appear in front of the camera is also a beautiful challenge in its own uh, i would i would rather say that right now also i am still discovering how to effectively convey a moment how to effectively convey a moment of truth of nuance uh when you are watching a story when you are inside the story uh and how my relationship with the camera has to be for me to deliver that moment of truth that and with total belief uh that is something that i am still learning and i'm i'm still a work in progress uh theater is like a married woman going back to her father's house you know for an actor everyone indulges her nobody tells her to work she is given the best of the you know choices of her most favorite delicacies because she is here only for 7 days or maybe 15 days and then she is going to go back to her husband's home and all the rigors of the in-laws you know that is how traditionally a woman would uh, uh, divide her time right she would she, she would she would she would feel it's more you know mai kab mere maike jaao when should you know when will i get a chance to go back to my parents so that is because of that so for me मैं हमेशा ये कहता हूं कि भाई थिएटर मेरा मायका है और फिल्म्स मेरा ससुराल है फिल्म्स में एक एक बहुत ही यू नो यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ अ वेरी बिग टीम ऑफ पीपल हु आर वर्किंग हु आर डूइंग देयर ओन जॉब्स एंड अनलेस यू डू योर ओन जॉब वेल एंड एवरीवन डज देयर जॉब्स वेल द द एंटायर ब्यूटी ऑफ द फिल्म इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम थ्रू सो दे सो इन थिएटर एवरी वन इंडल्जिस especially gujarati theater they are so they have been so nice to me they always come to me with choices of stories and they 
they love whatever i do and i also love you know because that is my passion acting on stage is my passion and uh, but on the other hand films is a learning experience it is a experience that that you know makes you uh, take responsibility of your own stuff i mean just imagine uh, light men moving around 50 people on the set somebody coming and dabbing you with a with a with a with a sponge you know your makeup man coming some some guy would come and take a light meter on your face and see ah dada ye light char hai and they would say are usko thoda bada karo then some pro- production assistant will come and try to make you wear wear maybe you know a butti or may wear this thread this thread i have not yet taken out this was in my film that i finished uh, uh, this morning in jabalpur so so they would be doing that at the last moment thousands of people are on you and you are on an island by yourself you are thinking of the shot that you are about to give you are thinking of being in that moment and not actually in front of the camera so that also requires a very meditative kind of a silence inside you you cannot get distracted by 50 100 people of the unit doing their own jobs around you you have to concentrate and your focus has to be so sharp that you feel as if you are alone on a deserted island and that is how you do film acting you at at a certain point you leave everything behind and it's only the character and the story and the moment and the truth of that moment that's all so that is also a very different challenge but as i told you 99 and 100 the 100 is theater the 99 is films for me there are so many uh, reality show these days in different channels which is mostly musical or dance um, do you think that we should think about something where we can involve acting or we can bring or we can see like new actors coming on those stages and uh, and um, and showing their uh, effort or their quality or their style i i was once approached to mentor uh, a few kids uh, there was a reality show based on kids acting prowess and uh, this was this was i remember this was in 2000 maybe 2012 13 when i was or maybe a little later when i was doing uh, i was i was shooting for uh, Santoshi ji's film uh, Fata Poster Nikla Hero. At that time, I was approached for it by a very leading channel. I also I, I couldn't become a part of it, unfortunately, because of my date issues. But uh, then I saw a few episodes of that, and I found that uh, you know, acting is such an ephemeral essence that to reduce everybody to a common background, kind of you know, select you, select me. uh select a few of my friends and uh give them the same piece to do the same mono act to do the same soliloquy to do uh or maybe the same stand up routine to do and to throw them against each other is that the real way to find out what is the unique ability of each actor because see acting is a is a school where there is no common mark sheet so i i feel if there are no reality shows based for actors i think it is okay <laughs> i don't i don't really uh, miss it you know uh, because because uh, uh, well you can you can always you can always devise a reality show where you have uh, let's say a real life uh, project happening and there you have real life character to play uh, you know and you are you are you are in a talent hunt talent hunts have been going on since ages okay uh, mr rajesh khanna was a part of the talent hunt when he came to uh, in this cinema he was jatin khanna at that time uh, he won the one cine uh, cine blitz or film fair talent hunt uh, i think or starred style at that time there was some magazine so uh, vinod khanna probably also came from such or maybe he came from modeling the point is that talent hunts were always there and they can be turned into reality show also but then 
the the focus will be more on how to get that care one character right the focus will not be to really examine in depth the unique abilities of one particular individual actor and every actor is different you know it's like a box of chocolates as forest gump says you know so so uh, personally i don't think i miss uh, that or i would like to see that on television as a as a fodder for reality tv very frankly reality tv itself is a genre uh, that i don't really warm up to quite well yeah singing fine you know because singing it is so clear it is so simple ragini ji either you are in tune or you are not aap sur mein ga rahi hain ya to aap nahi ga rahi hain there is only black and white there is no gray shades in between whereas for acting acting is all the shades between you know the rainbow and all of them are valid uh, all choices that an actor makes in order to deliver a line or to do a scene or to approach a scene are valid choices aap aap ye bol nahi sakti hai ki ye sahi hai aur ye galat hai so when you cannot do that with uh, clarity i think it will be a waste of time for a reality show to to have a reality show based on an actor well this is going to be really long conversation because when dashan ji is here with us we really cannot let him go and just uh, think that no we are done with tonight's interview so we would love to welcome him back again for the next week and i hope that you are going to agree with me because we want to know more about him isn't that so so please 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 you guys are watching us live on yak tv platform but please do come and subscribe to mana tv that's our youtube channel and of course come back for our facebook page as well and really really love us and like us because you are going to find more episodes like this and of course there are lots of other different episodes are there as well related to different things like health and exercise food so many things that are out there so please do come and visit our page as well dashan ji thank you so much but we're not going to let you go because next week is another brand new week we want to start our star darbar with you again